lattice. And today we're going to assemble the Roman crib. Please make sure you have all the proper pieces and hardware, and if anything is missing, please call Consumer Care. One way to know you're working with the correct hardware is to compare them with the illustrations that come in the instructions. Like that. The first step is to attach the sides to the back of the crib. And for this, you will need six 45 millimeter bolts and the provided Allen wrench. And remember to always use the labels as guidance. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. And that's it. The second step is to attach the mattress support. And for this, you will need four 18 millimeter bolts and the provided Allen wrench. Remember to use the highest position for your newborn and then go downwards as your child grows. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. That's it. The last part is to attach the front side of the crib. And for this, you will need six 45 millimeter bolts and the provided Allen wrench. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. and you're done. Remember to put away the instructions back in the pouch they came in. You're going to need them later. Congratulations, you've just assembled your row and crib. Now we're going to convert your crib into a day bed. Remember those instructions you put away? You're going to need them. The first step is to detach the front of the crib, and for this you will only need the Allen wrench. Remember, the mattress support should be on its lowest position since your child is now older. The second step is to attach the stabilizer bar, and for this you will need four 35 millimeter bolts and the provided Allen wrench. Oh, cool. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. Congratulations, now you have a day bed. 
toddler guardrail and bed conversion rails are available for purchase.